In this video, we're gonna talk about the complicated topic of return on investment when it comes to using Facebook ads to promote your music on Spotify. And the reason why it's complicated is because not only, like if you run an ad campaign for a month, your song keeps growing for like a year. Um, but there's also a two to three month delay between what happens on Spotify and other stores and when you actually get money. And so it's kind of confusing, but then another level deeper than that is that when I run these campaigns, I don't really, like profit's not the goal. Like for example, most businesses in the world, the first time they hit up a potential customer, they're not planning on making money. In fact, a lot of times they're planning on losing money. <laughs> um, for example, you've probably gotten a free trial of something or a free sample of something or a super big discount on something just to get you to sign up to something else, you know, or the potential for you to give them your credit card. Like there, companies do all sorts of things just to get you in the door and they lose money on those endeavors, but they know based on their previous history that long-term, a certain percentage of those people will actually buy their stuff and that's how they make the profit. And that's how I think about these campaigns is that these are the first touching points. This is the first time I'm interacting with these people. Um, and I'm not planning on making money, but on that being said, I'm gonna show you an example of a song in here that did make a profit. So I'll walk you through all the all the numbers so you can see how it works. So this is Spotify for Artists. We're gonna be talking about my song Socialize, which is my second best performing song ever. So I'm gonna change this uh, date range so that I can show you the first year of the song coming out because it's been out for more than a year. So I think May 1st-ish is when it uh, came out. So I'm gonna change it from May 1st, 2020 to May 1st, 21, maybe I'll do May 5th. Okay, cool. So it's, it's a little less than a year, but it's about a year. So the song came out on May 8th, I guess. And I ran my ad campaign from May 8th to roughly June 8th. I usually run ad campaigns for a month. So somewhere, this spike, this is all my ads. Um, and I can actually change my date selector again. So this is the first month of the campaign and it got 38,000 streams off of that. But if I switch back to this time frame. Um, I'll explain how this went. So I ran the ad campaign for this, everything from the June 8th-ish mark all the way up to February-ish was all from an initial campaign of $350. Just running a Facebook ad campaign to promote my song, $350 spent here. And then for the next, like, what is that? Eight months or something? It just rode this wave. So let's find the exact amount of streams that that was. So now we have, this is kind of like the initial $350 campaign. So there's 174,000, 175,000 streams that happened in that. And so what I can do is I can go over to a calculator, 150,000 times 0 0.003. That's like kind of an average point of how much a Spotify stream costs or is worth, is paid to you, is 0.3 cents per stream and it, there's a range, right? Like sometimes I think the official range is 0.2 cents to 0.5 cents per stream, depending on the country and other factors, if they have a premium account or free account. Um, you can see it's, um, did I type in 150? It's 175, 175,000 streams. So $525. So this is like very clear, right? I spent $350 and I made 175,000 streams. So that's about $525. And so I realized that at some point, I guess in February, um, I'll go to last 12 months so we can see from then to now. So this February 15th-ish, I ran the campaign and I, like total right now I'm at 311,000 streams. So I realized once I hit that mark that like I've made money in this song um, and I wasn't planning on making money on the song. So I just thought I'm just gonna spend all that money back into the song. Because if the song can make money, if I'm gonna profit on, I might as well just spend more. Even if you break even, you can just spend infinite money, right? Like if you make all your money back, you can just spend it again and make it all back and just promote your music for free. So that's the kind of thought process I did with this. And I relaunched an ad campaign for the song at um, $870 more. And that's what's taken us from this February all the way up to here. So, um, you know, I'll just do some math so I don't have to change the dates again. That's like 130000 streams more, which um, obviously has not paid itself off yet, but you got to keep in mind that, um, so it's made back half of what it has already. But keep in mind, stopping all the ad campaigns before gave an eight month tail. And the only reason, like it actually is probably more like a year tail. I just happened to relaunch ad campaigns before it. So like in this case, I'm expecting to make all the money back from this. I mean, if I don't, you know, it's not like I, 
it, what you should do is every time you spend money on an ad campaign, assume you're never going to have it again because you can't rely on an ad. There's nothing guaranteed when you're marketing anything. So don't spend money that you need. And, and I'm not saying that I do need that, but I'm kind of expecting that this song, based on previous performance, will actually um, continue to be a profitable song. And that's why I spent that 800 something dollars on it because I'm expecting that I'll probably just make it back and then I can just keep this cycle going of promoting my song. And um, up to today, I believe I've gotten $650 or something back. And um, I don't really want to show you everything in my bank because what I what I make is my business here. But I, I will read out the numbers for you. Um, for the song, I got $653.83. That's how much I've made so far. And I believe that the, one of the reasons why there's a discrepancy between what I calculated, because I calculated there'll be 525 off the initial one, and then an additional um, 390. So it should have been 800 and something, my mental math. It's actually 653. And this brings me to my next point, is that when you do the math on the stream rate, so Spot uh, DistroKid is saying that I got that 653,000 streams, sorry, $653 from 273 thousand streams so if i pull up the math for that um that comes to 2.4 cents per stream so this song must have heavily leaned towards cheaper paying countries or people who have spotify accounts than the average which is like the 0.3 so 0.24 cents per stream um, that's the other factor of why there's a discrepancy so keep that in mind depending on what countries end up digging your song will depend on what your stream rate actually actually is and we can talk about that in the future maybe i can make a spreadsheet of average stream payouts per song um or something but that's how it works so 653 dollars the first campaign's made all its money back and a, a decent chunk like 25 or something percent of the next spend has um been made back and um i haven't and, and you know I'm, I'm showing it on screen here so you can see the screenshot from distro kid um and this is all as of today you know keep in mind the stores have a three month delay that i mentioned so that's the other reason why things are off now i want to point out that this isn't like an isolated example this is my second best song and um my song chains is my best performing song but this one's even more complicated to talk about i purposefully didn't talk about this one because i have it on another distributor where the data is not as as clean and i have a 50 50 split with the vocalist so I believe this song is made back. Um, we initially spent $800 on this. I mean, we have 750,000 streams, but because this song was doing so well and paid itself back, and I can kind of show you the history of that, um, this was the initial ad campaign. And then we, it was like all during this first maybe month and a half or so. Um, and then we ran nothing, I believe, until beginning of January. And then it really took off again. We kept running ads on it because it's it, it it had so much promise and it was doing so well and we wanted to keep it doing well and i think we've we've been paid out eighteen hundred dollars from the song we've definitely spent more than that because again it paid itself off at some point and then we just started investing money back into itself um so that's kind of the scoop so songs can make money promoting facebook ads promoting music on spotify despite the incredibly low payout rates um you can still make money. You can definitely break even. Um, you can make a loss, and I'm not going to lie. I have plenty of songs that have failed. Um, my song Undone, for example, I spent a thousand bucks, and it did way worse than the examples I just showed you. Um, I probably would have stopped it after 300 if I didn't have a YouTube channel. But uh, I'll link to the video right here for it because I wanted to just make a. I wanted to show like a clean number. Spent a thousand bucks, got this result. I wanted to try all the things I tried. So check out that video if you're interested in that. Um, and this song Closer, definitely a loss. I think this was a $500 campaign. This song is newer-ish, like five months old. This song is two and a half months old. So I think this one's going to break even or profit long term. This one, I don't know. Um, this song Best Friend is my most recent, so time will tell with that one as well. And then Neutron, um, I'm skipping some songs because they're, they're older and I didn't run ad campaigns on them. Uh, this song was one of my first ones that I should ever showed on this channel. And then this one was the second one I ever showed on this channel. So that's kind of the history of that. So some songs make money, some songs don't. Focus on the songs that do and milk them dry because they're they're kind of your gateway into growing an audience. At least that's how I'm treating them. 
And because of I, me just like continually investing in the songs that perform best, I have like 1.8 million streams on on Spotify, most of that in the last um, year and a half or so. So 1.8, 1.9 almost million streams in the last roughly year and a half. Um, there's some stuff before, but this is like peanuts compared to this. So um, yeah, if you want to learn about the details of how I actually do this stuff, there's a playlist right there that you can check out. And then if you want like the excruciating detail of it, I have a course right here that you can check out as well. Anyways, I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.